I'm Peter Lindemann, coming out of retirement for five minutes. Again, for uh, the educational purpose of helping you understand the history of one of the most important uh, free energy systems that's ever been developed. And so I wanted to put together something that showed where all this stuff came from and, and make it so that you could easily duplicate the effects yourself. So this is the work of Carlos Benitez. He, it, he developed the first um, system that ran on batteries indefinitely. And um, doing that in such a way that the, the, the number of watts coming out of the run batteries was used to run a load and charge the, the receive batteries in such a way that the receive batteries uh, were fully charged at the end of the cycle. Let me get into um, just the physical setup of what we have here, um, just to start orienting you towards um, what's here, and then I'll go through uh, the, the various iterations that I have um, on, on these uh, placards behind me, so you can get an idea of the scope of the uh, invention that Benitez uh, uh, envisioned from uh, as early as 100 years ago. Um, and this is, this is the same uh, motor um, that Aaron and I uh, demonstrated back in 2007. Those, um, uh, those films have been on uh, YouTube um, for, what, over 10 years. So um, this is this uh, re rebuilt um, series, series motor with all the windings taken off the, um, the rotor. The system also has a little generator coil here, um, which runs on the, the same magnets that uh, run the reed switch. And the energy produced here lights this little bank of, of LEDs. The, the system uh, basically allows energy to move from this battery to this battery in pulses because it's oscillating. and. Um, uh, the excess energy is made up with a very, very high voltage spike um, which comes out of the collapse of these inductors and capacitors. I've modified this one up a little bit, but this is a Model T ignition coil. It has, it has the core material, it has a low voltage uh, coil in it, it has the magnetic make and break auto, auto trembler, it has a capacitor in there to, to snub the, the spark a little bit. 